Hi, my name is Michelle Pack, and I manage the CCS Imaging Center. The Imaging Center, also known as the IC, is a print service bureau that provides a variety of different print and binding services to the CCS community. All services are processed by work studies students from a variety of different departments on campus. The Imaging Center is located on the sixth floor of the Topman in room T631. We are open Monday through Thursday from 8 a.m. until 7 p.m. and Friday from 8 a.m. until 4 p.m. At the end of each semester, the Imaging Center will have extended weekend hours. These hours will be posted in the weekly student email and will be featured on our social media channels. As for services, the IC has two Canon production laser printers, two Epson desktop inkjet printers, and two Epson wide format inkjet printers. In addition, the IC also offers draft quality, proof of concept, wide format prints on two Epson plotter printers. The latest addition, and frankly the most exciting, is our risograph printing services. More information to come later in this video. Uh, furthermore, the IC also or, um, offers finishing services, which include stack cutting, plastic oil and wire binding, and most recently, we have started offering perfect binding as a finishing service. Students must submit print ready, print ready files on our online print request forms. These online print request forms can be found both on the main access page and on our campus office page. Turnaround times vary for each service and are listed on our website, but generally take between one and two business days. Turnaround times during midterms and finals will increase, so please plan accordingly. Once you have submitted a print request, our student staff will respond during business hours with a price quote and an estimated time of pickup. They will also send you a link to schedule an appointment for pickup. You may request to pick up either in person or via the smart lockers, which are located on the second floor of the Topman. Appointments are highly recommended. By scheduling an appointment for pickup, our staff will be better prepared for your arrival. Students can pay for these services with cash, credit card, or the CCS Flex. If you need further assistance, our IC staff are on hand to provide virtual or in-person consultations. We can assist with proper file setup, suggest different paper types, or just give advice on any projects that you might be working on. You can schedule an appointment via our Cal Lindley, um, and that link can be found on our campus office page. It also has paper samples available right outside of the imaging center on the pegboard. Paper samples um, have printed information on each one with the type of paper that it is, the paper cost, what sizes we have available, etc. cetera. Um, we also have a ton of printed documentation, pretty much our website in print. Um, feel free to pick one of these up on our resource table, which is located outside of the Imaging Center. We also put a lot of fun freebies out, little notebooks, stickers, buttons, different examples of what we can provide as a service. I know, it's a lot of information. Our campus office page has more in-depth info on all of our services. We have information on how to prepare your file for printing, how to resize your image, different quick tips, paper resource lists, and more. I will show you how to access our website later on in this video. But if you still have more questions, I expect that you will. Please reach out to us. Email is best for communication in the Imaging Center, and that email is ic at collegeforcreativestudies.edu. You can also follow us on Instagram, which I hope you do. Um, our Instagram handle is at CCS Imaging Center, and we regularly post helpful tips, current turnaround times, different promotions, and behind the scenes fun. Speaking of behind the scenes fun, let's go on a behind the scenes tour of the Imaging Center. I am going to walk you from the elevator bank all the way to our main entrance so that you can see where you pay and pick up your prints. And then I will take you back behind the counter uh, where the print magic happens so that you can see our printers, our layout, and most importantly, our risograph studio. In our Rizzo studio, you will meet the infamous and beloved Rachel DeBoard. She is our print services supervisor and manages our Rizzo program. 
we look forward to meeting you during welcome week and throughout the first few weeks of the semester. If you have any questions, please let us know. Have a good semester. We love a target bird. <laughs> uh, good morning. Different day, different outfit, less humidity. Um, I am going to take you on a short tour of how to reach the imaging center. Um, we will be taking the B elevators. So I am going to flip the camera and give you a tour um, and a walk through to get to the IC. All right, cool. Okay, so we are going to take you behind the counter and show you where all the print and binding magic happen in the imaging center. You can see my little eyeball guys here. Um, as a student customer, most of your interactions are going to take place in our lobby. You might be invited back if you have a in-person consultation with either Rachel or myself. I am going to take you back so that you can see what our printers look like. Um, and if you have any questions, you know, reach out to us via email or stop and make a consultation. We'd love to talk to you about printing. All right, I'm gonna take you behind the scenes. This is the front of the IC. Okay. Here's Rachel, some googly eyes to welcome you. We have some trimmers available for you to cut your artwork down. We are getting some more equipment so it'll be a little bit more full when you come to school. And this is the IC. So let me go over here first. We have some documentation. All of this information can be found outside. We have printed quick tips that can be picked up at any time we are open. Just some more printed documentation. And this is our front counter. All right, Rachel's letting us back. Hi. Hello. All right. This is the front of the imaging center. We have one student worker that sits up front. Um, we have a Mac environment, so this person is the one receiving your emails and sending you a price quote and letting you know when you can pick up your prints. As mentioned, we have a square system in which you'd be able to pay with cash, credit card, or CCS Flex. Don't look too hard over at my messy desk area, but this is where I sit. Um, I'm going to pan over to the right. We store printed posters in here. We have another work study, or today, Rachel's sitting here. This is a tour of the imaging center. These are our two Epson desktop inkjet printers. And we have our two Canon production laser printers. Some Halloween decorations from 2017. Our two wide format draft quality plotter printers. A lot of paper storage. We have another student worker that sits here. This person is the one that processes all of your prints. Storage, stack cutter, we assemble books here. I'm going to take you into our exciting space. And before I show you the fun risograph, I'm going to just show you this is our binding station. We do wire binding. And then we have plastic coil, some fun colors here. We also have a perfect binding station. So this is where booklets are created. And then we have our high quality, wide format inkjet printers. Um, we use this area for event space and storage, more paper. And then over here is Rachel's workspace. We won't get too close. Very messy. It's not that messy. It's summer. And then this special area is our Rizzograph studio. 
So we've got a beautiful large workspace. I'm going to show you those examples in a moment. Class tour space, hangout space for our students or anytime we have an event. Some awesome risograph prints. Gonna show you some close ups in a minute. Drying racks. Rachel's pride and joy, the risograph printer. Some more awesome student work behind it. A Mac and a PC workstation for students that are renting this space and for our student workers to process and print. We have a light table, an old fashioned manual binding machine, storage, a paper folder. We have some storage again. And then we have a great collection of Rizzo work that's been printed on campus and off campus. Hi, I'm Rachel DeBoard, and you're here in the CCS Visa Room. The Visograph is kind of like a screen printer in a copier box. It prints spot colors and one color at a time. If you'd like to use the Visograph, we offer it as a service, and we also offer free workshops to train you how to use the machine. Then you can rent time in the room and print all of your projects yourself. Here's a few examples of student work. We have show cards, some students like to print, vintage photographs. Other students will print their projects for class for a sample of your type. So Michelle and I like to keep a running collection of scenes that we pick up at art book fairs or zine fairs just to give students an idea of things they can make on the risograph. Most of it is risograph work, some of it is student work, and some of it is offset or laser or just some really cool things that we've seen people make in book form that we think would inspire the students. So let us know if you'd ever like to look at it. All right, and here's some awesome examples. I'll kind of go from right to left. We've got a very impressive accordion style zine. All right, I'm gonna show you some work that's been created on the Rizzo from our workshops that we offer in the fall. Um, these are free workshops offered um, to sophomore level and above for students to learn how to use the risograph. More information on our campus office page, but I wanted you to see these really cool examples of student created work and all the different things that you can do from doing funky photographs to doing some really fun creative work with type. I want to talk to you about another pickup option. I am on the B-side elevator in the little hub here. There are the elevators. If you can't make it to the imaging center to pick up your prints during our open hours, you are welcome to select the pickup by locker option. I'm going to show you how to retrieve your prints, so stay tuned. Let's walk this through. It's really fun and easy. Okay, here are the lockers on the second floor of the Taubman campus. You will receive a five-digit code via your email. You will be sent an invoice. There I am. You'll be sent an invoice to pay the day of the prints. Okay, so I've already been sent a code, so I'm going to show you how to access your, your stuff. You know your code. In this case, the number is 14337. When I hit go, just please step back, your locker's opening. Oh, and there's our little uh, Watson Peacock friend. When you're done picking up your prints, you will shut the locker door firmly so that the next person can retrieve their prints. Hi, are you having fun yet? I will be going over how to access and utilize our website with you. There's a ton of information. I just want you to know where to look when you need to look for it. P.S. It's summer. I will be making some minor adjustments to our website between the filming of this video and when you will likely access the website for the first time. I hope you can understand. It won't be a lot of changes, but you might see some things in different spots. I also drank way too much coffee today. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to walk you through on how to use your website. Okay. 
I am going to sign into the main access page using my CCS credentials by clicking sign in here. Sign in. Okay. You'll see all of the popular applications here, um, tons of information. You've got the CCS help desk, the library, self-service, etc. But we're going to uh, visit the Imaging Center website by going one of two ways. I, should, I will show you both. The first one is campus offices. Once you click this, all of the campus offices at CCS are listed. We're going to select Imaging Center here, and this will take you to our main website. Once it loads, you'll have two options to access any of our information. We do have our contact info right here at the top. Um, if you click any of these images on the left-hand side, it'll open up a new window with turnaround times, pricing, how to get your files print ready, etc. We also have the same information listed in these categories on the right-hand side. Um, along with our Let's Print forms right here. Scrolling down, we do keep information or introductory videos here. So the video that you're watching right now will eventually be down here. Um, and then clicking back to the main access manager. Um, we also have an icon right here on the left and it's called Let's Print in the IC. Once you click that, it takes you directly to the, the launch pad for our forms. So you can see all of our forms are listed here or the major ones, you know, buttons, you would still have to click over here. Um, but these are our four basic groups. So you've got laser prints. And once you click on that plus sign, an accordion style menu opens up and you can read basic information about that printer. Um, again with any of these menus. Okay, let's do a deep dive on our website. Um, we've got all of the general information here. Contact info and office details are on the right hand side with our regular office hours, methods of payment, contact information for Rachel and myself. Um, two ways to access information. If you drag this bar down you'll see all the images here on the left hand side and on the right hand side we have pretty much the same categories listed here as well. Um, general information once you click that link it's going to take you to our general info page where it tells you you know how to submit files everything must be print ready the different methods of payment information on price quotes and then we have several different posts broken down here everything from color systems and color spaces to file preparation how to submit a print job having trouble uploading your files, our reprint policy, and if you're involved in a sponsored studio. I'm going to click File Preparation, and you'll see all of the different, once it loads, all of the different things that we're expecting. Um, most importantly, all files must come in ready for print, so that means that everything needs to be sized correctly. You want to make sure that you're not designing anything close to the border. We'll go into that later the different recommended file types, high, res high resolution JPEG, or a flattened multiple like size PDF. So if you have several eight and a half by 11s and you're submitting all of them to be printed on the same paper type, you wanna make sure that they're all in one PDF file. The different resolution, calibration, our color space. I'm gonna go back to this file submission and it walks you through on how exactly to submit your files online. If there's any order changes, we talk about Catalinly, and I'll go to that website in just a moment, um, and then the general turnaround times. So generally, processes take about one business day when it's at the beginning of the semester or during a slower month. Even a laser print will take up to one business day, but once you start hitting into the busy times, so midterms, finals, any career days, those ex those turnaround times will extend by about 24 hours. So you'd want to tack on one business day on top of the one business day. So for a laser print, if you have something due on a Wednesday, you want to have that submitted by Monday so that you have time to pick up your print, mount it, do whatever you need to do um, for your presentation on Wednesday. We always have current turnaround times on our Instagram. So if it is busy unexpectedly, we'll post, you know, hey, we've got an extra business day tacked on to any printing because we have a major event. So stay tuned to our Instagram, that's at CCS Imaging Center, um, for current up-to-date information. When you click this color management, it's going to go into detail about how color spaces and systems work, an introduction, assigning a color profile, converting a color profile. We have i1 Display Pro calibration devices and you can check that out from us um, so information on all of that would be here <clears throat> an introduction to color management once I click that it's gonna detail what is a color space 
stuff that you'll probably be learning in, in your classes, but we have this information here. And we always have, for more info, linking to Adobe LinkedIn Learning so that you can find out more information. Um, back on this website, kind of go from the top down real quick. Our email, our phone number, and Calendly. Calendly opens up. These are our summer meetings. So um, I'm going to click up I see print pickup in person. And you can see we highly recommend this. It's just going to prompt you to confirm the time, your name. <clears throat> this is holding information from somebody else and how you're going to be paying for it. We have different meetings for different things. Right now in the summer, like I said, we provide curbside service. Um, but I see consultation. Let's just see you need help planning a project. And our, our availability is different in the summer, of course. But, you know, you would just click the link, confirm the time. Do you want to meet him on Zoom or in the CCS Imaging Center? And then make sure to share anything that would help prepare for the meeting. Uh, I have a full table of contents. So if you're looking for something and you, you know, can't figure out what category it belongs to, you can kind of see everything's detailed here. Uh, drivers and downloads. This will be updated for this upcoming school year, but we have uh, color swatches for the risograph, different print drivers. This changes out as things are happening on campus. Templates. This is very important. Um, you can see we have business card templates, a zine templates, perfect binding templates, risograph templates, and button templates, and it always tells you what application they're made for. And there's usually instructions on how to use those templates once you download it. We have video tutorials that link to our YouTube page. So you can kind of see this is just an overview. All of this will be slightly updated because this is all from last year. But you can see we have all the basic information there. And if you're looking for something more in depth, let's say you're trying to figure out InDesign and how to create a saddle stitch book, you know, here's our InDesign video tutorials. If we do anything on Zoom, any events or anything's recorded, we'll list it here. Because things have gotten a little bit back to normal, we don't have as many here, but you can see we have different um, different meetings that are still relevant. Um, this was about creating stickers. This was about creating buttons and how to use our templates. And then we have quick tips, which I'm in the process of redoing, but you can see how to do different quick tips. Um, combining files into a single PDF, what's a bleed, what's a border. Once you click it, it'll have screenshots and information on that particular process. My little cute nephew, Connor. And then our forms, which I will talk to you about in a minute. And then any of our services. So if you're looking at all of our services, you could just click that services tab. And let's say we want to learn more about plotter printing. It's going to open up a different website with information relevant to that service. How do we calculate our pricing, general turnaround times, general pricing, available papers? For the plotter, we charge for black and white pricing, so I have some quick tips on how to convert using Adobe, Acrobat, or Illustrator, or Photoshop. So there's different information there. You can also access all of our services from these categories right here on the right side. So for example, Perfect Binding, that's kind of its own standalone. We've got several different options for you to check out here and then it links you back to the template. So that's our website in a nutshell. Like I said, you might have see some different things in different places in the fall of 2022. Um, I'm going to be working on the website this summer, but it generally will look just like this. Okay, let's fill out a form together. I already have the laser print form up and I'm going to log in using my CCS username and password. Once it logs in, you'll see the form populate below. It automatically populates your first and last name along with your CCS email. You can change your first name to be however you'd like to be addressed, but you cannot change your last name or your CCS email. You will have to include your CCS ID number and your contact phone number along with your department. If there's a problem with your file, we will contact you via your CCS email, but if you don't respond, we follow up by calling you at this phone number listed. So make sure that it's accurate and that you have a voicemail set up. Um, all of the academic departments are here. And if you are printing on behalf of an uh, administrative department, you could select that from this list. But for this example, we're gonna pretend that we're in entertainment arts. Um, and we're gonna select no as this print job for a department. 
The red asterisk on all of these different um, options means that you have to fill out that field, otherwise the form will not submit. Is this print job for a sponsored studio? In this example, no, it's not. Sponsored studios are usually taken your junior or senior year. Um, but for this example, we're just a regular student. The form is conditional, meaning every time from here on out that you select something, it's going to open up new options. There's important information here. Please read through the form when you're filling it out. Um, this one right here is just telling you that we print actual size. We do not scale up or down. Please size your image prior to submitting this print job. You want to open it up in the application that you created it in. Make sure that your image is actually 5x7. Make sure it's 8x10. We also do not print borderless. If your image is exactly 11 by 17 and you select an 11 by 17 sheet of paper, please note that there will be a small white border surrounding it. Um, and if you have any important design or text elements, it will bleed off. Okay, let's print this five by seven image of Connor on a piece of 12 by 18 paper. We're gonna walk through the form. What kind of paper are you planning to use? Imaging center paper. The paper size, well, I wanna print Connor on our sticker paper. So I'm gonna hit 12 by 18 because I know that that sticker paper only comes in 12 by 18 sheets. As you can see, the form is populating with more and more information. You have the option to upload your file or use a Google Drive link. If you select the Google Drive link, please make sure that you give us permission to view and download your file. But I'm gonna upload a file. So this is a family picture. I really like this picture of Connor, so I'm gonna print that for my mom. Once it's uploaded, you won't see anything here, um, but when we go down and fill out the rest of the form, you'll see that it's, it is completely uploaded. We need to know the image width and the image length in inches. This is very important. If we receive a file and it says five by seven here and I open up the file and it says 15 inches by 20 inches, I'm gonna write you back and put your file on hold and say, hey, you need to resize your image so that it's five by seven. Print type, well, this is a sticker that she wants to place on her, her journal. I don't know where she's gonna put this sticker, but um, these options will change if you put, pick single-sided or double-sided. If you select double-sided, that sticker paper is not going to be there because sticker paper can't print on the liner. But once I hit single-sided, it's going to populate. There it goes. But you can see all the different types of paper that we have, and that changes based on the paper size that you select. Um, pages and PDF file. Well, I have a JPEG, so there's only one. If you had a book that you were printing, you would want to make sure that you're telling us an accurate page count. I only want one copy for the sticker paper, and right now the price was $2 for the past semester. It did go up, so it's gonna be $2.50 this semester, so that'll be changed uh, starting in July. Crop marks, that's going to help you cut it out. Now this image is a full color image, so I don't really need the crop marks, but let's say he was on a white background and I was printing it in the center of the 12 by 18, I would want crop marks. Print multiple of the same type of image on a sheet. Actually, I can fit about four five by sevens on a 12 by 18 sheet. So I'm gonna actually select yes, this is a postcard. We keep these headings pretty generic. Um, most times people are multiplying business cards. So they're putting their business card and we can fit 21 on a sheet. Postcards like this one, five by seven. Resumes even, if you wanted to print on the insulation pink, you could put two resumes side by side. So it's important to kind of think about like how many am I trying to do? And that's what total takeaways or prints mean. Um, <clears throat> I know that I can fit, like I said, four five by seven on there. I want four of these stickers. And so I'm gonna type four on there. Tile image, that's if we had a really big poster and we were trying to tile it across several 12 by, 12 by 18 sheets. In this case, we're gonna select no. In the past few years, we don't do a lot of this anymore because we have our plotter printers. You have the option to add another file or remove a file if you've added one, you wanna take it away. Finishing options, there's no real finishing options that I can do on this particular print, so I'm gonna select no finishing options required. If this was a book of Connor, I could bind into a booklet and it opens up like different color options and different cover options, etc. But in this case, I'm gonna select no finishing options required. If you had any additional comments, you could write that here. I don't have any, so I'm just gonna write thank you. And when I hit submit, it's gonna take a sec because I'm doing the file upload. It goes a little quicker if you're doing a Google Drive link. Um, so let's see. All right, great. So my response or my form was successfully submitted. If there was a problem or an error, it would be red and it would point you to where what needed to be fixed. Did you not fill something out? Is something too big? Um, is it partially uploaded? In that case, make sure you're using a Google Drive link.